Hello folks, today I want to talk to you a little bit about climb versus conventional milling and then show you what it's all about. Alright folks, so in our milling processes we have two different ways we can move our material in relation to the cutter head. So one is called up or conventional the other is called down or climb milling. And the difference is what is happening with the cutter head. So in this situation, the cutter head would be moving this way and rotating in a clockwise manner. So it's called up because you're coming up and you're cutting on the upstroke of the metal. In this one, you'd be moving the cutter head into the piece this way, your cutter head would be taking a big chunk at the start and that would be moving down. So we want to use a different approach when we're on different machines. If we had a CNC machine, we'd use the down or the climb milling. With our manual mill, we're going to use the up or the conventional. The main reason is because of backlash. Backlash, if we're using this down or climb milling, it can pull the work in to our cutter head and it can be really hard on the cutter head and it can leave a bad finish, it can ruin our piece. So we're going to use the up or the conventional technique. Alright folks, so I have a little block of aluminum in there. I have my mill cutter set up. We're going to touch off and then we're going to move off the part and then we're going to make a pass using the up or the conventional method. So here we go. All right, so we can see our piece is not flat at all. That's why we're doing the milling operation. But we started this way and moved the cutter head that way. And this is the up or the conventional method. If I would have come over here and moved this way, that would have been the down or the climb milling. That's pretty tough on the manual machine because we have backlash and this machine's a new machine but we don't want to reduce its life so we're going to use the up or the conventional method